Hi, it's Fazana here. Welcome to another video from the FASMATS channel. In my video on factorizing and solving quadratics with 1x squared, we factorized, solved and sketched the parabola. Please watch that video before watching this one if you're not an expert on this. Let's have a look at one of these examples again. Okay, do you remember I told you if you have to factorize y equals x squared plus 6x plus 8, then it's as simple as saying find two numbers that add to give 6 and multiply to give 8. So you know both of them are positive because they multiply to give a positive. So always look at that sign first and then 2 and 4 just falls out. So then you just put them in brackets, x plus 2, x plus 4. Now when you want to make it y equals 0, then you're actually trying to find the point where y equals 0. So you can see when y equals 0, those will be the x-intercepts. Yep, so x equals minus 2 or x equals minus 4. Okay, so anytime we make y equals 0, the x values you get will be the x intercepts. Okay? If we try and sketch that quadratic equation, then you can see um, this is drawn better than what I drew. Um, you can tell that that's minus 2, 0, minus 4, 0, and the y intercept is 8. Yep. Yeah? So you can tell all we did was we changed the signs once they're in the double brackets, yeah? Because they came from x plus 2, x plus 4. And then when we made it 0, you just change the signs, okay? Because one of these has to be 0. So you can tell it would be minus 2 plus 2 or minus 4 plus 4. All right? Okay. So now let's move on. Once you've understood that, we can go for something a bit more fun. Okay, so we're asked to find the equation of that uh, quadratic um, curve. Okay, so you've got minus two zeros. So changing the sign, we know it's x plus two. And we've got four zeros, so we know it's x minus 4. All right, and then when you expand it, and if you remember, we expanded it the cheats way, so we know it's going to be x squared, and then we're going to add what our numbers, so 2 minus 4 is minus 2, and that's what's attached to the x, and then we're going to multiply our numbers, so positive times negative is negative, and 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, so that would be your equation. Yeah? So simple, isn't it? Yeah? And you can tell we're right there. All right? Let's try another one. Okay, so we're given this parabola, and you can see it's minus 2, so we know it's come from x plus 2, and we've got 6, 0, so we know it's going to be x minus 6. Okay, so let's cheat. So we've got x squared. Add our numbers. Minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4. That's what's attached to the x. Uh, positive times negative is negative, And 2 times 6 is 12. Yep, so that's your equation. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to tell you last time. That minus 12 will be your y-intercept, so you can tell we're absolutely right. Okay? Okay? Easy, yes? <laughs> okay. This one here. Now we're actually asked to find the equation of that um, curve there. So we know it's going to be y equals minus x squared. So if you can see that that curve is actually a reflection 
in the x-axis of that curve. And if you've done functions, then you know if you've got fx, and if you um, reflect it in the x-axis, it will be minus fx. Yeah? Okay. So let's find the equation of this line, and then all we'll do is we'll um, show it as a reflection in the x-axis. So because you can tell the x-intercepts are exactly the same. So that came from x plus 1 and x minus 4. Okay, so if you expand it out, you've got x squared and then minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3x and when you multiply it, you get minus 4. Okay, so the equation of that curve there is y equals x squared minus 3x minus 4. And all you, you can tell, all we now do is we make it minus fx. So we go y equals minus, and you have to make the whole thing because that's your fx, minus 3x minus 4. <laughs> And when you expand it out, you've got y equals minus x squared. Minus times minus is positive. And then you've got 3x and minus times minus is positive, And you've got 4. Okay? So that is the equation of that um, curve there. Yeah? And you can tell the y-intercept there is... 0, 4, which is what that is there. Yeah, just like the minus 4 was um, the y-intercept there. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. Okay, sorry, just trying to find... Um, where we are? Okay, so here we've got, we want to find the equation of that one there. Yeah, so we'll find the equation of that one first, and then we'll just reflect it in the x-axis to, my, say, get minus fx. Okay, so here you've got minus 3, 0, so you've got x plus 3 y equals, and here you've got 1, 0, so you've got x minus 1. So when we expand it out, we'll get x squared plus 2x minus 3. Yeah? All right? So that is the equation of that one there. All right? Okay, let's minus fx it. <laughs> so we've got y equals minus and then x squared plus 2x minus 3. So you've got y equals minus x squared minus 2x, and then minus times minus is positive. So you've got y equals minus x squared minus 2x plus 3. And that is the equation of that one there. All right. That's all for now. I hope that helped and made you realize that these questions, when you see them in your exam, are pretty simple. A lot of students find questions and graphs very challenging, whether it's straight lines or parabolas. Once you've watched my videos on these topics, I'm so confident that you will really enjoy them and find them really friendly and lovable. <laughs> Just keep practicing, keep it simple, keep the rhythm, and your workings will flow. And remember, you're in control. Take care. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.